The core script provided by AngularJS doesn't include support for animations, so we need to include a different module called ng-animate. Now this is very similar to what we saw earlier in the course with ng-route. There's a separate script we're going to have to load, and then we have to reference the module that's defined in that script. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So as mentioned, if you want animation support, you're going to have to grab this ng-animate module. So the first thing we'll do is load the Angular Animate script, and you're going to want to put that right after the AngularJS script, the core script. Once we've done that, we'll have access to the ng-animate module. So all we have to do is, much like ng-route, add it as a dependency. So now as we define our Angular module, customer's app in this example, we'll now reference ng-animate, and now the animation functionality will be available and we can tie it in with some extra work and some CSS into these directives that I discussed earlier. Let's take a look at how we can enhance the app to add the ng-animate module and the required script.